Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I want to talk to you about one of the myths in the downswing and how you get it started. Dispelling this myth is really going to start to create more speed, more consistency, hitting it further and obviously that's going to end up in you enjoying your golf a little bit more. Okay, let's crack on. Today we're kicking things off down in the Precision Golf Gym. Golf club out of our hands and we're dealing with pure weight. Today I want to talk to you about the pull phase in the golf swing. The moment of truth when you reach that top of pack swing and it's all systems go. Attack the golf ball. So many people have talked about not pulling the golf club, trying to turn, lots of different ingredients. But today I want to talk to you about what I believe to be one of the missing links in so many people's golf swings. And I think it's really important that you need to watch my two videos on um, the foot pressures in the golf swing. You can find those out uh, on my YouTube channel. The links will be up the top, in fact. The cable has got some weight on. Now I'm going to step onto the pressure mat and we'll see the pressure trace on the screen here. Uh, we've got 56 on my left foot, 50-50 on my heel and toe of my left foot, and we've got 63, 65 in my heel of my right foot, and then 35 on the toe of my uh, right foot. Now this weight, because it's in my right hand, is pulling the pressure into the heel of my foot. I move that across. You can now see how it pulls the pressure into my heel of my foot. Therefore, you now understand that this golf club has a force and a direction that you need to oppose. And so as the weight is pulling me backwards, I'm now putting pressure on the toes of my feet to balance my body out. At this point, if you were to look side on, my pressure and my force, my weight would be on the toes of my feet. It would look that way, but it's just an opposition force. So go up to the top of the backswing. And at this point, I'm now looking to get this golf club from this side of my body over to this side of my body. We've got to move it around me. At the top of the backswing, because the weight is pretty light in a golf swing, we can get away with turning, turning of which you see absolutely no interaction of my feet that's causing the white pressure ball to move. And it really doesn't harm me because the golf club is light. It causes poor sequencing of the golf club on the way down. Whereas when we think about this cable as a bit more weight, got 10 kilos on this at the moment, I'm going to start to try to move that cable by physically pulling the handle. Again, you can see that the ball is not moving. It's stationary, but I'm just pulling on the handle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to exert some force down through my feet. Now we can see the ball is now moving. But my left foot is the orchestrator of the rotation. So if I just simply pull on the cable and I push with my right foot, which we see so often as a, as a thought or what we see or we think we see on TV, is a push with the right foot moving left and a movement into our left side. You can see that if I was to pull the golf club, move left, I've now run out of position or run out of room, should I say. And this causes those chicken wing arms to strike and really poor contacts, clubs rising up, no attack angles. I therefore want you to appreciate that when we're at the top of the backswing, there absolutely has to be a pull on the golf club. A pull on the club as hard as you can. But you better make sure that you've got equal amount of energy going on through your feet to move you around. So as I pull, I now start to apply that force from toe to heel that's actually going to oppose the direction that I'm pulling the handle in. Because if I pull on the handle and I push with my right foot, I'm in real issues. I'm now gonna up the weight of the cable. I'm going to 31.8 kilograms. 
I have no idea why it's 31.8, but that's what it says on the bar. I'm now going to pull on the cable. This thing uh, is now heavy. I'm going to lift it above me. I'm now standing on the cable, and you can see that actually I'm finding it really difficult to shift the weight forwards. But the point I'm trying to get at here is if I was trying to now move in my downswing, do you think I would really not pull the golf club and I would really just turn? Absolutely not. I would pull that cable, get it in the right spot, and sequence my trunk up with the pull and the pressure through my feet. So I would actually have to use my shoulders to load the golf club in sequence with my feet to move around the golf ball. Whew, I'm out of breath. So we're going to move back up to the studio now and apply these philosophies with a club and ball. We've now come back up to the studio and we're now going to put into action what we've just spoken about down in the gym. We can stand back on the body track mat so we can utilize the pressure and forces through our feet and we can tie in the pull phase of the downswing that's going to generate so much club head speed and stability down at the golf ball. So let's drag the golf ball in. I'm going to put myself into my setup. I'm going to grab myself to the top of the backswing. You can see I've got dominant force in my left leg. I've got dominant force towards the toe of my left foot. And now I'm going to imagine the golf club is that cable down in the gym. And I'm going to pull that cable, the handle, towards the golf ball. What's going to make that handle move around me is the momentum of the leg action. So I pull the initial force of the cable forwards. The pressure moving from my toe to my heel is going to help me move that golf club around me. The opposition in directional force through my feet and my body moving back towards the camera that is opposing the direction I'm trying to pull the golf club in will ultimately keep the low point of the golf swing in the same spot. This enables us to create some different pressures through the handle, which again we'll do another video on, that will enable us to create some better down strikes and not just thinking about down strike or shaft lean as handle forwards. Going up to the top again, into the toe. There's the pull of the cable, there's the push of the force from the toe to my heel, and the golf club will strike the golf ball. To the top, force on my left toe, pull the club, push the force back, and as we do such thing, we now start to see we've struck down at 3.4 degrees, club path has come from the inside at 4.2, the face was slightly closed to the path at 6.9, a bit more than we would like because the face was a little bit shut. I'm not going to do anything about that. That's just a face angle related situation which this video is not about. Therefore, those guys and girls out there that believe the handle should work down this way compared to the pull of the handle moving out in this direction you are breaking, you're breaking the inertia of where you're trying to move the golf club. If you're trying to move the golf club down and then you're trying to move it out, it's like trying to ask someone to jump off of the diving board and then when they're mid-air, you ask them to do a backflip. You've got nothing to push off. So you've got to be very definitive in where you're trying to move the handle at all times, particularly in the pull phase of the golf swing. If you are trying to move the handle down, look how the head weight is actually going to respond in trying to flip itself over you. If you actually try to move the handle forwards, 
it will keep the shaft pitch in the correct orientation rather than if I move the handle down or pull the handle down it will actually try to stand the club head and club shaft up <coughs> therefore pulling it forwards it's the leg it's the job of the legs should I say that's actually going to move the golf club back inside so let's do that again go up to the top into the toe of my foot slightly left side bias I'm going to pull on the golf club by pushing the force back you can see that the pressure immediately zips to my left foot of course you're seeing my hip go back but of course that's because there's no energy in my handle that's actually going to balance me out what will actually start to happen is even though the force is going through my left foot and pushing my hip back because the handle is being pulled forwards it will actually make my left hip stay static or well, it will still go forwards but it won't go to forwards to the amount that someone is doing or creating by pushing with his right foot and as I explained earlier if I push with my right foot my knees and my hips want to become shut my left leg gets in the way and my arms have to bunch up because I've run out of room back up to the top again pressure into the toe pull on the golf club use that pressure from the toe to the heel to spin me around again we've created four degrees of downstrike the club path was inside out 1.8 and the face was close to the path there's a little draw now I'm going to do exactly the same I'm going to do exactly the same motion and all I'm going to do this time is I'm just going to make the club face a little bit more open so I'm going to go up to the top, still got the same grip I'm going to go up to the top pressure in my toe I'm going to pull on the handle and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the face orientation so I've just changed my wrist angles a little bit and now I'll pull on the golf club push the toe to the heel and now all that's happened I've made exactly the same motion look how the golf ball's gone to the right kept the path the same inside out kept the downstrike there but because I changed my face angle look how the ball started right and faded just a face angle change the motion is the same now if I'm someone that hits that shot and believes that path is the issue it's going to go down a whole world of hurt so hopefully you've now understood what I mean by the pull face by being in the gym upping the weight of the cable so it really stresses my torso really stresses the structure and it stresses my feet to have to move more dynamically and not think about positional if you're positioning the golf club if you're trying to aim to fix a isolated area you are absolutely working down the wrong track it's absolute garbage so again bit more insight to what's going in at the top of the kinetic chain the hands and arms and how it must fundamentally work with the feet everybody talks about the core and how strong the core needs to be the core is merely the conduit the link between the top and the bottom of the body to maximize their energy when you train you isolate musculature and then you inter integrate them to make sure that they work together that's why we don't really ever want to encourage people to sit on machines and just isolate all of the, the, the uh, training that golf pros will do or athletes will do they're always trying to integrate strength so that they can become dynamic and used and that's what we try to do with the core the core is the integrator of the uh, strength that we have in our limbs to make them actually work in balance so Again, more education there hopefully for you. Start to think about the golf swing a little bit different, a little bit more directional with, in terms of how I like to see people moving. If you've liked the video, hit the like button. Share and subscribe with your friends. And if you've got any thoughts, stick them in the comments below. Always like to hear from you and interact. You all stay happy and healthy out there. Good golfing for 2023. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.